Hey everyone, Craig here with Cost Certified. Entering a lead within your Cost Certified dashboard is really easy. You can do it one of two ways. Go under the bucket here called Leads and click the circle with three dots and go Create New, or you can click on the New Lead button right here. Both will take you to this primary screen where you can enter in the following information. The email is something that is vital and making, especially making sure that it is correct because that's how we send out all of the communication like your proposals or any change orders to your clients. As you scroll through the client order, client owner is of course the person managing the client. Lead source is something that you can utilize for your own records. You'll be able to track whether it's coming from a referral, web page, or anything along those lines from social media. Then you can scroll down here and you're gonna to start to enter in the following information. The first name and last name, of course. For this one, I'm just gonna enter in their name. You can also enter in all of their address information. Once you have that done, you're just gonna click save. Once it saves, it will populate into the leads cloud category in your left-hand corner over here under the lead bucket. Perfect, there we go. So Gord Parker is now under the lead section over here. You can also then move the lead once you start to interact with them on a client basis and making sure you're kind of getting to the stage of booking projects, you can move a lead over from to a client status by hovering over, we've got open, view and list, and convert to client. You just click convert to client and that will move them into the client stage. Further to that, once they're in the client stage, you can actually go and click build quote and that will move them into the proposal engine where you can start to build out your client's proposal. In addition with the leads, you also have this top piece here. If you click on leads, it will actually generate a listing of any leads that are outstanding within your dashboard itself. You can even have fresh leads, which are brand new ones like we did for today, except I moved that into the client status or you can even look at ones that are stale, for example, like what you see on our page here. These are ones that are old that no one ever did anything with in the demo phase. Lastly, we also have a lead rotation. So this is a way for you to set up a rotation for your staff. You can have any leads that are coming in from referrals or your web page or anything like that, go to a specific person. We hope this helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to any one of our customer success managers.